So ladies and gentlemen, do you welcome to my YouTube channel and if this is the first time you are coming, please subscribe and join to my YouTube. So uh enzymes can uh, actually simply classify it into six and we abbreviate them as orthelles. The O stand for oxidoreductase. Two stand T stand for transferase H hydrolase. L ligase, I isomerase, and the last L is lyase. So these are the six enzymes classifications. So enzymes are classified into six. So we are now going to look at them one after the other. So oxidoreductase are the enzymes that catalyze redox reaction. They are the enzymes that catalyze redox. Catalyze redox reaction, and of course, when you said redox reaction, it means they catalyze reduction and oxidation. So, they are the enzymes that catalyze redox reaction, and of course, now look at it. Remember, by this is the mallet, and this is then AD. Plus. And I remember when you said oxid reduction, reduction, you can just simply say in as a you can say addition of hydrogen, addition of hydrogen, addition of hydrogen. While uh, of course oxidation is the removal, is the removal of hydrogen. So now let's look at what happened here. You see here, we now look at it here, hydrogen is being removed. Ox hydrogen is being removed and added to this. So it means that the NAD plus, the NAD plus undergo reduction. Undergo, it undergo reduction. It means that it undergo reduction. That is addition of hydrogen. And any species that undergo Reduction, the species that undergo reduction is known as oxidizing agent. Oxidizing is known as oxidizing agents. So this is what happened actually in, in, in this example that oxidoreductase usually catalyzes oxidation reduction reaction. So here hydrogen is being removed. So removal of hydrogen is Oxidation, so it means that mallet here undergo oxidation while NAD plus undergo reduction. And of course, any species that undergo oxidation is described as reducing agent. And the species that undergo reduction is described as oxidizing agent. So this is actually the uh, classical example of oxidoreductase that involves the reactions that are redox. So then the next uh, types of uh, classification of enzymes is transferase. So transferase are the group of enzymes that catalyze the transfer of atoms or group of atoms. And of course, these atoms or group of atoms can be amine, it can be carbonyl, it can be carboxyl, acyl, methyl, phosphoryl, and glycol. These are the examples of the substrates that can actually be, uh, of course, transfer. So from the word transferase, it means it part a group. It's transfer a group from one particular atom to another atom or from one group of atoms to another group of atoms. So transferase means that it transfer a group. And these are the examples of the groups that these transferase enzymes can actually act on. So like for example here, we have hexokinase. Hexokinase is a typical example of transferase enzymes. So you can see clearly here we have glucose initially as a substrate and then of course plus ATP. So one phosphate group here is being removed and added to the phosphate and that's what make it be glucose 6 phosphate plus ADP. So what does that mean? It means that 
here is ATP and here is ADP. It means that one phosphate group is transferred to the glucose here and that what make it to be glucose cis phosphate. So this is a typical example of transferase enzymes. And then the next types of enzymes that we are going to look at is hydrolase. So what is hydrolase? Hydrolase are actually a group of enzymes that catalyze hydrolysis among proteins, starch, fats, nucleic acid, phosphates, cyther, and various macromolecular substances. So it means that hydrolase is a group of uh, OEs and enzymes that usually involve in the breaking down of a bond using a small molecules. Like for example here, we have phyrophosphates. So using an enzyme, this is uh, one of the examples of uh, hydrolase enzymes we have phyrophosphatase. So what this phyrophosphate does, does is it cleaves this. It cleaves it so with addition of water. Hydro means water, lease breaking down. So you add water, then you break down a bond. Examples of this hydrolase is it can be peptidases, proteases, lipases. There are so many of them. So when you add a water molecules, then you now bring you now break down a bond using a water molecule. So those kinds of reaction is described as hydrolysis. And the group of enzymes that do the work, they are called hydrolases. So this is uh, actually the uh, third classification. And then the next one is layers. So layers actually it always involve in the removal of a groove from the substrate to leave or to leave a bond reaction or catalyze it is reverse reaction. So now let's look at what actually happened here. So it can be involve a removal of a groove from a substrate. So now look at it. This is a substrate, and if you look at it from the word layers, it will just cleave. It will just cleave some groove. So just cleave some groove. So now look at it here. We have, of course, initially, if you look at it here, we have this. And then, of course, the carbon dioxide is being removed using the ferrubate decarboxylase. So carbon dioxide is being removed. So when you use an enzymes and remove some groove, so the group of enzymes that do the work is described as lyase enzymes. It lies, it breaks down some parts. So that is a typical example of lyase here, fibrobate decarboxylase. That is the removal of carbon dioxide. So that is lyase. And then uh, the next one is isomerase. And of course, when you said isomerase from the word isomerism, that is it's change or it converts one isomer to another isomer. So the conversion of isomers is the conversion of isomers. Here, yeah, that is conversion of isomers can be geometric isomers or optical isomer. So remember that we have in optical isomer, we have L isomer and we have D isomer. So if you now look at it, this is alanine racemase. So it converts alanine from L isomer to D isomer. So the types of enzymes that combat one isomer to another isomer is described as isomerase. Examples like when you have glucose cis phosphate and it now isomerized to glucose cis phosphate. So the group of enzymes that does that work is phosphofructose isomerase. And of course, I so phosphofructose isomerase is a typical example of isomerase enzymes. Alanine racemase is also another example. So this is actually uh, isomerase. So the next types of enzymes that we are going to look is ligase. So in this case, ligase is trying to join a molecule. So when you have two molecules and then you join them together, so these types of uh, reaction is called ligase. You get two molecules and you join them together. Like for example here, if you now look at this reaction, you'll observe the dirt. We have ammonia here, ammonium ion. We have ammonium ion here. And then this ammonium ion is now added. So you have this as one molecule and then this as a two molecule. So they are now joined together to produce a single one. So this is ligase. 
when a smaller atoms or two groups join together to produce one, three join to, 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 to form form, sorry, to, to form one, five to form one, six to form one. So this is actually the types of reaction that is catalyzed by like so ladies and gentlemen thank you for listening and i think uh the video will be of help to you and if this is the first time you are coming to youtube channel please subscribe thank you thank you thank you please subscribe and follow more of my videos